People that quit their job in a hilarious fashion. How did you do it? 1992. I was 19 and working at the most piss and radio station imaginable. AM Country Gold. The notoriously cheap, abusive and dishonest owner, a fella named Wes, had just screwed me out of a promised bonus. It was the latest in a long line of dishonest acts, and I had had enough. The rest of the sales team was afraid to stand up to Wes, and he screamed abuse at them constantly, except the lone woman, who he actually harassed. They were all in their 30s and 40s, working the same garbage job I was, but desperately needed it. I did not. So, I engaged in a very public shouting match with Wes in the lobby, saying all the things everyone there had always wanted to say. Then I swept the contents of the front desk onto the floor and stormed out. Instead of leaving, I went around the side of the building to pay phone, and called the radio station request line. In a fake southern accent, I said, Hey y'all, I just told my cheap, no good, lying piece of human garbage boss to go to hell. Play me out with, take this job and shove it, and dedicate it to my former boss, Wes. The disc jockey had no idea what had just happened in the lobby, or that my Wes was, the Wes. So he enthusiastically played my recorded dedication and added, This one is for you Wes, choke on it you sack of crap. The building had speakers inside and out constantly playing the radio feed, so, I got to hear Wes get clowned by his own radio station before driving off into the sunset. I used to work for a telecommunications company. My mom was very sick over the last 3 months of her life, so, I had to go home most weekends to see her. It's a 6 hour journey to get from where I work to the town where I'm from. When her birthday came around, I requested a couple of days off that I had saved for this specific occasion. Yet, the days off were denied because we were approaching a busy time of year for sales. At this point, I hadn't mentioned what was happening at home, because well, I was always taught that you keep your work and personal life separate. But I said it to my boss, who, at the time, I saw as a pretty compassionate person. She never took any issue when I got sick or was late for whatever reason. But when I told her, she just looked at me point blank and said, I don't want to hear this. After that meeting, I went back to my desk and sat there for about 20 minutes, thinking of a solution. That solution was to get my things, and just leave. I said goodbye to my friends on my way out, flipped my boss off and just walked out. I went straight to my car and drove back to my hometown that night. It was the best decision I ever made. I got to spend all my time with my mom before she went. We even got to go on a vacation, and spend one last week away together, because I had the time to do so. I'll never, ever regret walking out that day. Not exactly hilarious, but I had a good chuckle to myself on that drive home. The look on my boss's face will never leave me. It was sweet. I used to work for my father. It was probably the worst time of my life. He treated me like absolute shit, paid me very poorly, and made me work 70 plus hours a week. I was young, just out of high school, and I complained about my predicament quite a lot. His response was always, if you don't like it, there's the door. Six months before I quit, he made me run his night shift, which meant 6pm to 6.30am Monday through Saturday. I was very unhappy about this, so, I applied for another job. I got it, and went to my father's office with a list of demands. He responded with his usual reply, so I said, alright, I've gotten a job offer somewhere else, duck you, I quit. The look on his face was priceless. He truly believed that because I had amazing job security that I'd be willing to put up with anything, and that I'd stay there for my entire career. In one short. Sweet instant, I proved to him that this was not the case, and he lost his most valuable employee. The icing on the cake was, the fact that the job that I left him for is at the company that manufactures the very machinery and software he relies on in business. So anytime something goes wrong in his factory, he has to call me to fix it for him. He truly believed that because I had amazing job security that I'd be willing to put up with anything and that I'd stay there for my entire career. This shit. I worked for my aunt for nearly 5 years. It was a produce delivery slash retail store. 
When I came to work there, I was originally supposed to be running computers slash taking orders to cover for them the week they all took vacation. As time went on, I started running the retail part on Saturdays, and my willingness to do so was the only reason they opened on the ducking weekend. I took over the office running by myself on Sundays as well, and at a point worked 7 days straight for a month or more, until someone realized I might need a break. My cousin was in charge of the front retail, and she resented me for working in the back with her mother. She snapped one day and started being rude and abrasive to customers, so, we got switched front to back. I worked every single job in that place, except for driving the box trucks. I had enough when they hired a new guy who I found out was making exactly the same an hour as me. $8.25, never work for family. I used to work at a place that rhymes with Pizza Hut, and the managers there were real cheap skates. There was this nice old man that would come in every Sunday, and order a triple extra cheese pizza, and while they charged him for the triple cheese, they would forbid us from ever actually putting that much cheese on a pizza, because apparently cheese in the pizza selling world is akin to gold. So instead of triple extra cheese, he would really be getting what the instructions would qualify as barely enough for a regular cheese pizza. On the day my two weeks notice ended, the old guy just happened to be my last order, so, I went into the walk-in and grabbed an entire box of cheese, proceeded to dump the entire thing onto his pizza and tossed it into oven. It was stacked so high that it couldn't even fit into it, and half of it was scraped off. Anyways, the look on the old guy's face when he saw me do this, made it all worth it, imagine pure excitement. Needless to say I didn't put the correct phone number down for future job references. I got this. Worked as a teen for McDonald's for a month or two during the winter in the 90s. We were understaffed, and they usually had me working the deep sink and taking money at the drive through One day I come in at 4pm, and the breakfast stuff is pilled to the ceiling at the sink, because the day shift rolled out without taking care of it, as per usual. There was a snowstorm this particular day, and with the amount of dishes to do and the increasing frequency of running over and taking money from the window during the dinner rush, my hands were beginning to hurt, then going completely numb. I let the manager know this wasn't working out today and get blown off. Duck it, I crawl straight the duck out of the money window without anyone noticing, at least no one on the staff. I get in my car and drive to the parking lot across the street, and watch that dinner rush drive through line back up out of the lot and down the street. Worked as a teller at a bank for a few years, GM and supervisor were both kind of crappy in their own ways. My buddy there was also a teller who felt similarly and wanted to get out. We started applying to places, and both got interviews at the same company. As luck would have it, we both got hired and got phone calls about 10 minutes apart. There was only one other teller aside from us, and when it got busy, supervisor usually had to jump in as well, and usually hated it. It felt like we were constantly short-staffed, and days when one person would call out sick or be on vacation would suck. Being down two people was the worst. Naturally when we both got hired, it became a race to see who could turn in their two weeks notice first. He printed his off and raced into GM's office, walking out with a big smile. GM calls me in and offers me full time hours, after I had been requesting them for months. I jumped in saying, let me stop you right there, I'm also turning in my two weeks notice. Remembering that look of disbelief will make me smile every time. A solid professional FU is just as enjoyable to me as going out with a bang. There was a UPS strike in the 90s, and I was employed by them in high school as a sorter. Blockbuster video at the time had this mail order deal where you'd get a VHS tape and bags of popcorn. Like a proto Netflix thing I guess. Anyway, all these boxes full of microwave popcorn and VHS tapes would slide down the belt, and about half of the popcorn bags would explode or break. After about an hour, there was popcorn dust all over. I asked my boss for a mask, and he said that they didn't have any. Some of the drivers walked by wearing masks, and I followed them and found a full cabinet full of masks. I confronted my boss, and he was like, the masks are for drivers only. So, I went back to the sorting area and just stopped working. I just stood there. The belts were backing up with these boxes of popcorn and they would burst and clouds of powdered popcorn butter would fill the air. 
I waited about 45 minutes before the belt shut off. I walked out through a haze of popcorn dust, with alarms blaring. People running everywhere trying to figure out what was going on. A lot of people didn't get their VHS tapes that week. I knew a guy in high school who hated working at a movie theater. Called his boss, and told him he wasn't feeling well because he went hiking, got swarmed by bats, and got bit by one. Shows up later that evening to watch a movie with a cape and fake fangs in his mouth. Fired on the spot. A guy from my work years ago, came in high and the boss figured it out. She brought him into the office to fire him, and with a cop to escort him out. For his final stand, he came real close to her face and said, in a world of darkness, where you carried the only light. I still wouldn't follow you, and left. I was working for Argos as a Christmas job while studying. After a while it was becoming too much, as I had to stay in work until deliveries were unpacked. This meant that some days I was leaving for college at 8.30 am, and not getting home until 1 am that night. One night, it was a particularly large delivery, and it was getting very late with no end in sight. I decided I'd had enough, and told the supervisor I was finished, didn't want to do the job anymore and wanted to go home. He rejected this, and said that I was going nowhere until the delivery was unpacked. I stood in front of him and repeated that I quit, therefore I don't care about the delivery, completing my studies was more important to me than learning a bit of extra cash. He still said I was going nowhere, and refused to unlock the door to let me out. Despite feeling I had a case for false imprisonment, I decided to take matters into my own hands, I ran out the fire escape door and down the street never to return. I'll always remember the sound of the fire escape door making a big dong as it hit the metal railings, and I made my escape to freedom. Hey boss man, sorry I haven't been to work the last two days. I'm helping my fiancé plan for our wedding. Anyway, I wanted to let you know I found a new job with the state, so I'll be starting there in two weeks, basically when I get back from my honeymoon. Yeah, the timing's great right? Anyway, I need to give my two weeks notice. Also, we're really getting into crunch time right now with this wedding planning, and she really needs my help. I need to take the rest of this week off. Also, I think I might have forgotten to reserve the time, and I'm sorry for that but I need to take next week off for the honeymoon. So, yeah? So, you're giving me your two weeks notice two days late, and telling me you won't be in for the last two weeks? Um, yeah? I guess so. Can you think of a reason why I shouldn't fire you right now? Ah, well, because you'd have to call corporate and have them cut me a check and ship it out today? Sigh, fine. Fine. Have a great wedding. My wife meanwhile skips two days at her shitty call center. The HR manager calls asking if she's okay. I'm not sure, I think I'm having a vision problem. A vision problem? Oh no. Are you okay? What kind of vision problem? I just can't see myself ever going to work there ever again. I knew someone who worked in a really shitty call center. His boss never had time for anyone. When he went to tell his boss that he was leaving, the boss waved him out of the room as he was on a call. So he wrote, I quit, on a posted note, stuck it on the boss's screen and just walked out, 